Hey y'all, it's Katie. Welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons Island tour. Today we are touring the island of Arcadia. It is a national park themed island. It's all about protecting the raw nature of this island. And this is by my friend Jess, also known as Wild Forest Crossing on Instagram. And you guys are in for such a treat. Not only are the views on this island absolutely amazing, but it has tons of storytelling and lore, all of which, of course, I'll talk about and link in the description below as well. With that said, you guys, if you enjoy island tours just like this one, make sure to subscribe to my channel as I put out new videos every Wednesday and Friday. Now I'm gonna pull up the map of Arcadia, but keep in mind Jess has made a very custom map and I'm going to link all of the details in regards to this island below, like I was saying, and it is so cool. So on this mini website dedicated to the island of Arcadia, there is tons of storytelling. You get a letter on how to become a ranger at this national park, and then you have training instructions you can follow. It is so cool. For the sake of brevity, because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full interiors, to look at. And in addition to that, if we can get in any of the villagers' houses, we will because all of those are renovated both outside and inside. So for the sake of brevity, I'm not going to follow the storyline, but I am going to follow her map. However, I did read through the story and the instructions and tasks that you have to create. Oh my goodness, it's so creative and cool. I have never seen an island with this much detail. And not only that, like I said, it's beautiful. So all of that will be in the description box, including Jess's Instagram and social media, all that good stuff, as well as the website with custom codes and the tasks that you can complete. For a villager lineup, we do have Pashmina, Rosie, Julia, Raymond, Mitzi, the Queen, Shino, <laughs> Diana, Chevre, Sherb, and then oh, my sweet, sweet boy, Bo. All right, and we have a lot to see, so let's go ahead and get started. I do wanna point out this map, though. A lot of this island is dedicated to protecting, of course, the nature, like I said earlier, but more specifically, the emperor butterflies. So I'm sure we'll see a lot of references to the butterflies throughout this island. And look at how comfortable, cozy, and natural this entrance is. I already am so obsessed with this border around the dirt path. I think it is so cool. It's just like a little wooden border, similar to how flower beds have little wood pieces around them at times with custom codes. But I love how wide this path is. And I do wanna take a peek over here to the right because there are some villager homes before we really dive into the national park. Look at the blue. I'm gonna guess the blue is a bit of a nod to the emperor butterflies, but like these homes, so, so pretty. That is one of my favorite elements to have come out of the DLC is the ability to customize not only the interior of our villagers homes, but the exteriors as well. I mean, how absolutely perfect is that? So, so stunning. And it looks like someone is inside here. So I know we're starting the tour off so early, but I do wanna check out the interior. This is my first time doing this on a dream address. So I'm guessing the renovations populate for the villager homes. I don't see why they wouldn't. Oh my goodness, Diana, look at how cool your home is. Whoa. This is amazing. So many 2.0 items. Wow. Oh, this is so exciting how we get to actually see renovated interiors on Dream Address Islands. Of course, not every villager is in their home, so we can't see all of them, but for the ones that have a little light on the inside, we do, and this is beautiful. Diana, you have such a stunning, stunning purple room here. What an absolute treat. So we have tons of interiors to check out. Oh, I didn't even say hi, oh no. She got sad. I'm sorry, Diana, we have a lot to see, my friend. <laughs> okay, so let's go back this way. And I will run a little bit more just because we have a lot to see, like I was saying, but I still wanna get as much 
detail as possible because there's going to be a lot, you guys. And what a beautiful way to kind of organize your resident services from an off center airport. Like it's just slightly off center by, you know, like five, maybe 10 tiles. But what a beautiful way to make it flow so nicely with this pathing. And then of course, the amazing wooden bridge as well. And here we are at Resident Services. Also, a lot of these custom codes were created by Jess, so if you want to download any of them, of course, her creator code I'll include. However, if you just visit the dream address, you can download them right here. And here we are at Nook's Cranny, doing my favorite, or at least one of my favorite things, which is including fruit trees. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think fruit trees need more justice in this game. And I like how clean this pathing is. I've said it a million times already and we're only a few minutes into the video, but the way everything is so organized, you have your shipment station over here, then you have your shopping station over here with a little bag and of course the ATM or a ABD <laughs> rather. <laughs> Okay, now let us, I guess let's check out the beach over this way before we go all the way up. Oh my goodness, a little bike rental station. What a perfect, perfect little setup here. You have the sign, a storage shed, which I'm guessing is where the cleats and helmets are being housed. Wow, this looks so incredible. A little bike rental and then on the Beach. Did I see the Able Sisters over here? I did. What a cool concept too. It's not too often you see Able Sisters on the beach, but it looks so, so nice. And then here is one of the completed interiors and it is a gear shop. So let's go ahead in here. However, I do know we have some Ranger outfits to pick up not too far away. So as much as I would like to shop in here, we're just gonna take a peek instead. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this looks so cool. Such a perfect cabin vibe as well. Oh my goodness, and I don't want to totally pan because these wall partitions are going to block a lot of it off. I don't think I can totally go that way. No, I can't. But this is so neat. It's where you can pick up a tent, you know, a chair. Maybe you forgot to bring some supplies for cooking. Oh, it's so good. Oh, and here is where you can purchase some clothing. Oh, I love all of the natural colors. <gasps> How neat. And you, of course you have your changing room over this way as well. But you know, it looks like it might be a little bit chilly if you wanna grab yourself a sweater, maybe some boots. And then these little shopping bags. How absolutely perfect are they? Oh, it's so good. These items I feel like are very, very, very cool. That came as a part of the update, having all of the clothing details just already included as well. How smart. Well, now I'm curious as to what's in the basement. If it's a gear shop, maybe the basement has like fishing gear? Maybe? That's my guess. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, no. It's a storage basement. That is brilliant though, truly. I feel like this is how I would imagine the bottom of Nook's Cranny to be, right? Like the, the basement or the attic. Yeah, yeah, you know how Nook's Cranny has that little mysterious stairway? I have a feeling there's a room that looks like this for inventory and shipments and stuff like that. All right, what a cool home. And again, the, the use of the partition walls to block off the other rooms is so smart. Makes everything so cohesive. <laughs> okay, let's keep venturing. Let's actually go find our, <gasps> our friend. I was gonna say ranger outfit, but I would rather find our friend. Have fun exploring. Well, thank you, Rachel. And before we go straight, I did see the campsite back here, which of course for a national park, Hello, I mean, 
we absolutely have to check out the campsite. And if there was ever a perfect national park, just overgrown natural campsite, you are looking at it right now. I love it. I love it so much. And the new outdoorsy kitchen. I don't know exactly what it's called. Let me run and show you what I'm talking about. This outdoor kitchen is perfect for a more, mm, I don't know, a more expansive campsite, I guess would be the best way to describe what I'm thinking about. But you know, a campsite that's more for than just a weekend trip. You know, you really have your gear set up. You are going to stay put for some time. Another friend, hello, we are running into everyone. Dr. Bay, gyroids are fascinating. Oh, I love that we have a scientist here too. Doing some research, I'm sure, on gyroids. There is Mr. Raymond showing us the way. Oh, look at how great this view is. And of course, everyone walking around too. Before we dive down there, let's see if there's a little view over here. Oh, oh my goodness, there are so many characters. <laughs> Walking is fun, says the hiker. I wanna go hiking soon. And it does look like we're getting a peek at what I think. Yeah, I think that's the ranger headquarters over there. Let's go see and let's also say hello to the other characters. This is so pretty though. It's really combining two of my favorite things. A, easy pathing, like not getting lost. It's very, very spread out in the best of ways. Check out the butterflies. I absolutely will. And, uh, and nature and how green everything is. Oh, this must be our ranger uniform. Let's put this on. It's actually the very first task we are meant to complete <laughs> for our ranger training. Like I said, I'm not gonna fully, fully go in to the ranger training lore just for the sake of time. And I don't wanna give any spoilers if you guys wanna participate on your own time, but I did read through it and it's really, really cool. And hopefully the uniform is not really a spoiler because it is the very first thing you do. So I promise I'm not giving too much away. <laughs> I'm gonna do the backpack, yes. Yay, we do get to wear blue, of course, to match the butterflies, I'm guessing. Yeah, let's do the boots. Because this is the shirt, and then these shoes, the antique, yeah. We look so good, we are ready to go. And what is up here? Well, you know what, no, let's go in the actual Ranger Lodge first. I am going out of order. I love the chopped wood and where you can craft right here too. And these log cabins, they all look so nice. So the gear home, I wanna say had a green, a green door and roof. And then we have blue over here, some grape juice, love. AKA wine, maybe, possibly, potentially. And here we are at the Ranger Lodge. Oh, so good. Of course, we have a little check-in station, a little desk area, complete, of course, with a blue cup of coffee. <laughs> and look at the gyroids dancing. And of course, they're blue ones. I love it. Love the color coordination happening on this entire island. And might I just say, the simple sofa right here is one of my new favorite furniture items. It's so simple, as it says in the exact name of the item, but the way that you can customize it and really make it work for so many different themes is 10 out of 10. Oh, how pretty is this living room? <gasps> Oh, I love that pattern on the back wall. I'm not sure if that's a custom code or if that is a fabric that you get from the Able Sisters, but either way, how pretty is that? And then the turquoise details. Everything in the main room was blue, but in this room, everything has that really pretty turquoise accent. Oh, it's just like the perfect mix of log cabin rustic and then Trendy, chic. <laughs> We're really glamping out here. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, now let us, oh, there's a room to the right. Let's go there. Oh my goodness. Now if this is a community bathroom I would absolutely want to use. It feels so clean and yet, you know, of course sterile, but warm. And I, I don't know if lived in is the best way to describe a bathroom, but inviting I think is a much better adjective. How absolutely beautiful is this? You have the independent stalls, you have the community sink. And then a little separated area for if you want to take a little bathe. Oh, I love this bathroom. I am definitely pulling some inspo from this bathroom. Okay, upstairs first. I'm gonna guess this is gonna like be a living quarters situation, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Ah, <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh, but it's way cooler than I imagined. <gasps> Oh, I absolutely love it. So you have multiple beds here for the different rangers to sleep when they're not on duty, of course. <laughs> duty. This is beautiful. You have KK Dub with the beautiful green music artwork. Oh, I just love this room. It feels whimsical, and I don't know if that is just because you have this stunning mountain view right here. If it's like the mom's plushy, but it, it's just so, so pretty. Very homey. Oh, and look at how perfect the encyclopedia is open to the butterflies over there because that is who we are protecting and studying. All right, basement time. Oh, and this is the kitchen. What a perfect use of these columns and countertops. I mean, I feel like it's obvious that you would use the counter for some kind of kitchen, but the way that everything is segmented here with the stools, the, the columns, you really have your area for dining and then you have your area for cooking. And it's so perfectly organized. And again, with the colors too, like upstairs was green. The back room was turquoise. This one's red. I love it. Such a cozy little basement kitchen. It's so perfect. And I'm loving the accent walls in this whole, whole lodge. Okay. Keep exploring. I want to go up that incline, that blue incline. So let's go this way. Because if I were a betting woman, this is going to take us somewhere cool. <gasps> oh, whoa. Did I just manifest the most beautiful mountain view? Maybe. Wow. Holy smokes, you guys. That is so cool. That's the view right there. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, and how creative. So not only does it use the cedar trees, the cypress plants, bushes, but the green colorway of the volcanoes really makes it look so mountainous. This is amazing. Something about this view too, how it's just slightly in the background. Isn't that so pretty? And of course you have a little map right here. So that way you can Locate different points of interest. I love over here on the right how you have the hammock too. Wow. What a view. That is so pretty. This should be a great inspiration if you want to create a mountain, of course, but in addition to that, if you, oh, hello, have we talked to you yet? Oh, this is Jazz. Welcome, Rookie Ranger. Thank you, ma'am. Happy to be here, reporting for duty. 
But um, like I was saying for that mountain view, it should also be great inspiration for if you're building a tree house or any kind of perspective build. Oh, and here we are at a butterfly sanctuary. <gasps> How pretty is this? And look, we have a little ladder. A whittle wadder, if you know that TikTok comment down below. <laughs> a whittle wadder. This is so pretty. I've toured a couple of uh, different national parks, but something about the touch of the butterflies on this one is just getting to me. I am so, so in love with butterflies. Easily one of my favorite animals. Like, isn't, isn't that so pretty? And I love just the theme of blue and how that ties in with our uniform, but also the protection of the species as well. Oh, it's just so good. And it doesn't look like I'm meant to go through there, so I'm gonna leave it as is, but I am just blown away by the beauty. So pretty. Now, I guess, let us, hmm, which way, which way? I think we should continue this way. This path definitely intrigued me, so let's go into the nature a little bit. And of course, pet this bunny rabbit, which you probably shouldn't do if it's a wild animal, but you know what? This is Animal Crossing. This is where we very much pet animals. Oh my gosh, this cave. <gasps> Hello, tell me something. Please visit, oh, we, Max, we did visit the gear shop and we loved it. Look at this cave. <gasps> Whoa. And there's a ladder that takes us up to it. So we're gonna have to explore it. Let's just, let's just go for it. Wait, is this, is this a Mario pipe? <gasps> no way. <laughs> so it's like we're going into the cave. No way, that is so cool. That is creative. That is so creative. Oh my goodness. What? What? So it takes you literally to the inside of the cave where you can do some exploring and there's this amazing glowing moss. Wow. I'm, I'm pretty blown away right now. This is amazing. Hold on, I, I have to break the illusion a little bit just to check the map. Where is this house? Oh, I see. So it is the room that is blocked off in the gear, in the gear house. That is brilliant. Cause if you remember, there were a few rooms that were blocked off and this was one. That is so smart. Oh my goodness. That might have been my favorite thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it is just so creative. It's like you're entering the cave and you see that brilliance. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, and then back here we have the little secret beach. Love this secret beach entrance. This green path I am obsessed with. Man, it, it really takes very little for me to want to like redo my island. <laughs> like, I just want to go back to doing a very, very natural theme like this. This is so good. And it feels gigantic too. Everything is spaced out so nicely with the pathing. It's very easy to navigate. And look, we have a picnic spot. Well, that's precious. I will forever be very, very envious of people that can decorate their beach rocks in such a resourceful way and still have it make total sense to the island. I fail at it every time. <laughs> Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll be good at decorating beaches and rocks, but today is not that day. 
I guess since we're over here, let's keep exploring the left side. I'm guessing, does this go to exactly where we were? Oh no, it takes us up an incline. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, this is so pretty. Whoa, and this is where we have some natural ruins? Wow. Okay, this is one of the coolest things about this island. So I know I'm not going to like be able to really access the ruins themselves, but the views on this island are just, they're 10 out of 10. I'm gonna try and boom, perfect. That's exactly the picture I wanted. But having these amazing builds and views, oh my gosh, I am just blown away. And then down here, it looks like, oh, is this where our friend is uh, researching gyroids? Oh my gosh, what a great gyroid farm. Oh my gosh, they're all on the beach. Okay might be taking this idea because I was trying to build a gyroid, gyroid, <laughs> a gyroid farm and I felt like I kept running out of space but there's plenty of beach around where I was building it like again the use of the beach rocks and how strategic all of these items are placed it's just amazing and as we know all of the interiors are completely full so Let's check out what's in the tent. I'm gonna guess gyroids, <laughs> if, I were, if I were a betting woman. Oh, just the coziest campsite. And must I say, this sloppy bed, perfect. Absolutely perfect for the inside of a tent. Oh, this is so good. So, so good. brilliant let's keep going I'm pretty blown away by oh gosh I don't I mean I was gonna say the gyroid beach and then I thought about the cave and that led me thinking about the butterfly preserve area everything is really just immaculate so I don't even know where to start I don't know if I can get I don't think I can get around that way so let's go up the incline again and we will go around the other area That view is just so pretty. Love, love, love those ruined arches. Oh yes, this little farm. What's this little farm doing? Well, how cute is this? We got ourselves some carrots, potatoes. Oh, and someone is inside. Wait, let me, let me say hello. Walking is fun. Yes, it is. Now whose house is this? Oh, we've already talked to the hiker, haven't we? Whose house? We're gonna find out. Because they will be inside. Unless this is one of the residence homes, which it could be, theoretically, right? <gasps> no, this is sweet Pashmina's home. Oh, also complete with a beautiful view of the mountains. This is so much fun, I have to say. Checking out the interiors of these villager houses is another highlight. Or at least the ones that we're able to see. Like, obviously, Pashmina's inside. I wonder if... We haven't seen Bo walking around. I wonder if we'll get to see the inside of his house. But this is so beautiful. Diana had that really beautiful, like, lilac. And Pashmina has this beautiful red and pink. I do feel guilty leaving them and not saying hello, though. I have to say. Please know it is eating me alive a little bit inside. <laughs> And then in here, is this Bo? Are you a farmer? Who's in this house? It is my sweet boy. Oh, and your house is perfect. Another beautiful mountain view. Oh, I love it. Well, I have to say hi to you. I'm sorry. I know I, I'm breaking the rules here only talking to my favorite but i have to 
my room is so cozy you could put them right to sleep it is so cozy you took the words right out of my mouth my friend and of course his colorway is green as it should be but Bo, you need to put your socks away friend i know you're a lazy but come on so cute new highlight Bo's house <laughs> I love it. And hello, Max, good to see you again. Such a good farm over here. Can I? I don't know if I can sneak back that way. I cannot. So we'll go around. Because I do see this wheat field and all I wanna do is run through it anyway. <laughs> Has anyone else done this? I feel like we were blessed with so many 2.0 items and then everyone's just like, wheat field and puts like 50 of them next to each other. I did it, so I'm not hating. Oh, how cute is this? Hello, wait, oh, you're the doctor, right? Yes, love your tent, do all the research. Look at this beautiful lighthouse area and there's a ladder to go up and explore. And I don't know whose home this is, but we can't go inside because they are not inside. But what a stunning little picnic. I wonder if this is like Mitzi's house maybe? But how pretty you can climb up here and have a little photo op for yourself. How neat too. This is right next to that gyroid farm and yet you cannot tell at all because of the way things are placed. So it feels like a totally, totally different area. Wow, now this is actually quite a view. Isn't this so pretty? This is just, you know, this is how I want my entire island to look, like this whole area right here. You got a little bit of farm, you got a lot of forest. It's just so pretty. What can I say? Ugh, and the combination of flowers is so lovely as well. I have such a bad habit of sticking to like the same two flowers, but this is giving me so much inspiration to mix it up, you know? It's so many different areas have different colored flowers and that's what makes it all look so unique, you know? Every single spot's a little bit different and personalized to either the villager or the resident of that area. This is a really pretty house too, I have to say. I wonder who lives here? I wish they were inside so we could see the inside. Oh, what a pretty beach. Wow, a lot of these houses are uh, making me wanna put more things on the beach. Like, look at how beautiful this is. And again, night and day difference to where we just were with that house back there. I'm telling you, people are too, too good at this game. And look, here we have a little beach area with some huts. And what a perfect little walkway right here to Captain's Dock. Amazing and totally accessible. I gotta love when people are so, so talented decorating. But in addition to that, everything is functional. It's just, it's so pretty. Oh, and a little boat back here. I didn't even see you. Okay, we have explored the right side of the island. We have, I'm oh, sorry, the left side. We have not explored the right. So let's go there. I can't get over this path. Between this and then the larger path as well in the back, it's just amazing. Oh, and we're back at the campgrounds and I didn't even see this tent over here. But I knew we were missing a couple of other structures, so I'm very, very glad we're seeing it. Oh, and this one's just a cozy little tent. Definitely giving me more of those, you know, weekend stay kind of vibes. Wow, it's so good. So, so good. I love the yellow and the orange. Everything feels warm. Have any of y'all just been absolutely floored by this island? Because I can't. 
can't get over it. This is one, well, first off, I am downloading this border, border edge, you know what I mean, this custom code immediately, immediately, because it's so good. Now, let's go back through resident services, and I think there's a pathway to the right. Aha, here we go. So here is a info stand right here. An info stand, not a info stand. Have any of you guys been playing Wordle? Let me know. <laughs> I have recently become obsessed with it. Love this little info stand. And then, oh, we're brought straight to the museum. Such a great museum entrance. Oh my goodness. If you guys are ever wondering how do people like make their museums, especially when they're upgraded, still look natural, still feel overgrown, still fit the theme, uh, take notes on right here because this is perfect. You throw on a little bit of custom pathing. You also have the dropped leaves and then just a ton of trees and foliage. <laughs> it's just so good. Now let's go back around to those front two. Well, can we actually, how do we get up to those houses back there? Let me see. It's gotta be through this incline, but we didn't see them. Or did we? Hello, friend. So if we go over here, can we get to those houses? Oh my goodness, we can. I totally missed this from the beginning. And we have a villager inside of this one. Actually, there's someone inside of both. So we get to check out both of these interiors too. This is so much fun. Let me know if you guys like me checking out all of the villager interiors because I'm having a blast. <gasps> Hello, Chevre. Cute, cute, and cute. She would have just a perfect little layout. Look, she even has a kitchen, a living room, and a bedroom all fit within these tiny four walls. Oh, and she has a picture of Nan on her wall. I love Nan. Nan is my favorite normal. Oh, that is just so sweet. Well, my love, I love your house. I'm gonna go check out your neighbors. But you have some amazing interior decor skills. Oh, hello, have we talked to you? Happy camping, I think we did. There's too many of y'all. <laughs> and she, you know, I totally forgot she was on this island, but look at how perfect her room is too. Again, with the mountainous background, she has some incense burning. Oh yes, so your style, so pretty. A lot of these villager homes have red accents too, which I think is so perfect for their individual personalities, of course. And I think besides the right beach, I think that's it, which we're gonna have to access by going around again because there isn't a walkway that continues here. But what an awesome way to place villager houses right behind your resident services. One, I didn't even notice that they were there. And I mean that in a complimentary way because sometimes, you know, it can look a little jarring if they're terraformed a little bit too high. But no, that was so perfect. Oh yes, I'm gonna go this way. And then this way, this is one of the things that is so helpful about when people have custom maps, especially with directions. It is so handy. And then, ooh, I'll just, you know what? I'm gonna hop here and then here and then here and then here, ba-boom. And now we're gonna go through, oh, hi, Julia. I forgot you were here too. We're gonna go this way. It looks like there's might be a little Oh, there is, and look, a really pretty picnic spot and you can get some of the museum view over here. I'll tell you what, the color coordination on this island is unmatched. Unmatched, I tell you. Look, you can do a little sightseeing where the ocean is. This is phenomenal. 
I genuinely cannot get over how good this is. Oh, there's that beautiful area where we were earlier. Can I go up? Ah, maybe not. But that is where the beautiful butterfly lookout is. And then we have another rest station. This is so smart. This truly looks like a ranger station, right? This is kind of where they camp out, hang for a little bit, make sure no one has any requests. And then a beautiful bonfire. So absolutely incredible. There really is nothing more for me to say other than just to continuously sing Jess's praises because, I mean, I've toured a lot of islands, especially a lot of natural islands because they're my favorite, let's be honest. I know, I know that's very, you know, Katie of me, but I feel like this one is unmatched and their views are amazing. I'm sorry, can you hear my cat in the litter box? <laughs> she is being quite loud for taking a little kitty poop. But I am just absolutely floored. I had so much fun exploring the interiors as well of all of the villager houses. I loved becoming a ranger too off camera. And when I have more time, I am actually going to complete the tasks because it is so fun reading through it. Again, everything is going to be linked in the description box. You even have a ranger acceptance letter because you applied to be a part of this program. It's just so much fun. There's so much lore and so much beauty. And this island, again, I feel like it's unmatched. Look at how beautiful it is. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tour. I had so much fun and there are so many elements of inspiration I am personally taking with me. Immediately coming to mind that amazing cave concept. But in addition to that, the beach gyroid farm. It is, again, unmatched. I've said it a thousand times, but that's because it rings true. Don't forget to go follow Jess on Instagram and give her some love on all of her social medias. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.